Hi guys. <laughs> gonna say hi? Ah, don't knock my stuff over, Mo. Okay, he's just gonna sit back there, I guess. Ooh, it is a doozy today, guys. This week, it's Monday, and this week is already like testing me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're here today with another type of makeup video. Okay, I know I don't always do makeup videos, but I really love makeup videos. At the beginning, I showed some clips a second ago of my dog. He just had surgery a little over a week ago, and he's doing really good, but he usually has to be in a kennel like all day, and the only way he'll be good in the kennel is if someone's sitting with him. Um, and I'm filming this video in my bedroom and his kennel's not in here. So I brought him in here and he's sitting right here next to me. If you see me like pet him or if he moves or anything, that's what it is. My dog, he's sitting right next to me. But yeah, he's chill. He's just laying here. He also has like one of those um, cone of shames on because he has an incision that he's not supposed to lick. So yeah, if you see that like bouncing around in this little corner, that's him. He's just chilling, but yeah. We have a guest with us today while we're filming. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a 10 minute, no makeup, makeup look. I think that's what we're gonna do today, a super natural summer makeup um, that I feel is really long lasting too, but we'll see. This is what I always use. This is kind of an updated everyday makeup routine for me because I did film one a long time ago, but things have changed. So here I am again today with a new one. That's what we're doing today. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm really gonna try my best to do this as fast as I can. Obviously, I would be doing it faster if I was not filming. So with all that being said, guys, let's get in to the video. <sighs> I'm gonna start by like pushing my hair back because I don't want it in my face. And also guys, look at my earrings. I'm so excited to be wearing these. Alrighty, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit so that you can see me doing my makeup a little bit better. Let's start with step one, right? This is 10 minute makeup, so we're trying to be fast, quick, no makeup, makeup for the summertime. This is for my girls for the summer. The first step, moisturize. Moisturizing is the best step before any foundation routine. So let me show you the one that I really love for the summertime. This is the Jergens Natural Glow um, Face Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen. I know everyone knows about Jergens Natural Glow. I'm not a fan of the body one, but the face one I really like. And this one even has um, sunscreen in it, which is really great. Definitely for the summer and every day you should be wearing the sunscreen. I'm not going to use this one today because I have already applied it to my face this morning. So I'm not going to double up because it is a tanning product. Another one that is one of my favorites, my staples in my routine, is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I really love this one. I have just like a travel size bottle, but um, this is what I'm going to be using right now. Also, I'm sorry that I look so pale. I promise I'm not this pale in real life. So I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror kind of to see what I'm doing. So if you if you see me looking over there a lot, I'm so sorry. I hate doing that, but I don't have a mirror in front of me. <laughs> Before I get too far into it, I'm going to put this lip balm on because it just will sink in while you're doing your, your makeup. But this is a Jack Black lip balm. Um, this is a Shea Butter one with SPF 25. So that's, again, really great for summer. I don't always prime, but today I'm going to just for the sake of this video. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I usually do this really fast. I just put it where I have pores around my nose is where I have the biggest pores and the most, and the most visible pores. Put this where you need it or use a different primer. A lot of times I will skip primer, but for the sake of this video, I decided to put a primer on. For the next step for my no makeup makeup, this is a big part. This product was in my last everyday makeup routine, and I still am loving it. Like, I've been loving it for a while now. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I'm in the shade Medium 12W. I love this stuff. If I'm trying to get a little bit more coverage, I'll use a brush, like a um, synthetic kabuki brush or something. 
But today I'm going to use a beauty sponge, so this is the quickest way I feel like. Actually, if I'm running late, if I don't have a lot of time to go wet my beauty sponge, I will just use a brush because that's actually the fastest way. But I, for days that I want it to be like really just like light and airy, prefer to use um, a beauty sponge of some sort. Guys, my hair is like something tragic. It's been growing like crazy and I finally have a hair appointment. I'm so excited and I'm switching it up. I'm actually going to dye it and I'm so excited to dye my hair. I love changing my hair up. As you can see, I blended this out and you don't really see a huge difference. The thing I like is I think it gives me like an even look. Like it evens out my skin tone because my neck and my face are so bad about tanning. Like they don't tan. That's why I'm always using this Jergens Natural Glow because my face never tans. I'm kind of breaking out right now so you can see like here. I don't know if the lights are just super bright and you can't see, but I have some breakouts. And you can definitely still see them through, which I'm fine with because I like the look of like being able to see your skin and see your real skin for the summer. I don't know. I'm really into light makeup for the summertime. What can I say? What? Do you want to say hi? Sorry. <laughs> my dog is... He's really out of it because he's on a bunch of medicine, but do you have to sit in Kaylee's lap? Hey, don't push me. <laughs> Stop. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to film. See it? There you go. The next step is concealer, and I recently found this concealer, and I'm in love with it. I'm so mad that I have been going without it for so long. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. It matches... Um, the tinted moisturizer and these two are killer together killer I'm really picky with concealer and I never feel like I find one that I love but this one is really good <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna do some dots normally I would do like a whole sweep but when you're doing something natural like this I like to just like dot it so you don't get too carried away I'm gonna add some right here on my chin because I have some breakouts right there and it'll help conceal them a little bit um, and then I might add a tiny bit on my forehead where I have some more breakouts blend these out again if I am trying to be like super fast and I'm trying to throw on this makeup I probably won't use the beauty sponge because I don't like using dry beauty sponges and sometimes it can feel like such a hassle to go wet your beauty sponge even though it's really not that big of a hassle, but it can feel like it is. So I can also use a brush for that. For this concealer, like this concealer applies well with the brush too. I know my lights are really bright, but can you see that? My under eyes? I always forget to say this because I always do it. I just link them, all the products down below. It's really easy for you guys when I link it. So I will always link the products down below so that you can get your hands on them a lot easier. And you don't have to go search. So yeah, now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna set my under eyes first before I go in with cream bronzer just because I like to set my under eyes. I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the Hourglass Veil. I love this stuff for setting my under eyes. It's really nice. And to get the most natural, like no makeup look, definitely apply your powder to your under eyes with a damp sponge. This will give you like the most flawless um skin like look to your under eyes and your eyelids i got powder in my eyeball do you see that great <laughs> so now i'm going to move on to cream bronzer or like contour so the product i'm going to be using is a new one to me this is the fenty beauty cheeks out freestyle cream bronzer in the shade 03 macchiato I did dig my freaking nail into this in my haul video when I was reviewing this and I'm still salty about it. Anyways, <laughs> so what I'm going to be using to apply this, I'm just going to dip my kabuki brush into this because that's my favorite way of applying. I'm going to apply it to the areas you would bronze, so I like to do my cheekbones and I bring it up to my temples for sure. Add some to your nose because we love a nose. Ron's little nose, right? Do you see this? <laughs> we are almost done, guys. So now that I've blended out my bronzer, I have naturally really rosy cheeks. So I 
honestly pass on blush a lot because my cheeks are really rosy. I'm going to skip on cream blush today and I'm going to move right into the powders to kind of almost finish up the face. We're almost done. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4 palette. Sorry, this palette is so dirty. I didn't even realize that, but anyways. Um, I'm just going to use this. So I get this brush, which is a Morphe M427 brush. It's just a duo fiber brush and I go and I grab the ambient powders which are these two. I just take both of these and like put my brush in it and tap it off and then I will literally just like set the center of my face on my nose with them. Also at my chin with them. And then there's a bronzer in this palette as well right here. All of these are available separate. They're not like an exclusive to this palette. And then I'll just go over the bronzer a little bit with that and the brush. It just kind of like sets your bronzer nicely. They're just like so natural. Like the powders are so natural that I'm like obsessed with using these. Like I said. So if I want to add some blush, I'll just use the two blushes that are in here and mix them together. And I'll mix them together and just do a light dusting on my cheeks, on my nose. Because I like a little blush nose. I think it's super cute. It's pretty much it for the face. You're coming back. So now that the face portion of this makeup is done, I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. And what I've been using for my eyebrows is just the Anastasia. I don't know what this is called. It's like their brow gel that's tinted. And I don't even, I think the shade is soft brown. But I just run this through my brows. I don't fill them in or anything. It just gives you a little bit of color to your brows, you know. You know the drill, it makes them a little thicker, they look nicer, they stand up straight. Guys, oh my gosh, why are you in my makeup? Now that we're done with the brows, we're almost done with this 10 minute no makeup makeup that's taken me 30 minutes to film. <laughs> so the last step is, actually not the last step, second to last step is mascara. So if I'm running super late and I just need to go, obviously I'm gonna skip primer. But if I have a full 10 minutes, I'll probably use the primer. And this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base Primer. Now I just throw this on really quick. You can curl your lashes if you want to. I have not been caring about curling my lashes at all. And go into my mascara. The mascara that I have been using is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist in Very Black. Then I'll just throw my mascara on. Nothing special. Nothing crazy. Be careful because sometimes I like go in so fast with my mascara and I get it all over the place and I have to like clean it up and that's annoying. In a rush, the last thing you want to do is have to wait for your mascara to dry and then like get it off your skin, you know? It's a whole hassle. Now I'm done with mascara. The last and final step to this 10 minute no makeup makeup is a lip product. So the one that I've been using is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is the cranberry and pomegranate one. These are all over TikTok and I finally ordered them, but they're really nice on your lips. They're just like super moisturizing and they just give your lips this like really healthy plump glow to them and like gloss, you know? So yeah, I really love this makeup look. In my opinion, it looks super natural and like like you're barely wearing anything. And But like you can still see your full skin through it. The lashes are not over the top. It didn't fill in the brows. Just some clear oil gloss on the lips. This is probably my go-to for summertime. Go-to for any time, honestly. I've been doing my makeup like this for a while. But especially summertime when it's like just hot and you don't want to deal with it. <laughs> so this is my 10 minute no makeup makeup routine or makeup look for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you found some new products that you want to try or something like that. As always, if you test out any of these products, please let me know because I would really love to hear what you have to say about them. My social medias are linked in the description box below. So go check me out on there. Go follow me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever you're on and you want to follow me on, I guess. 
Also, while you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It's always there for you guys so you can join my channel and stay up to date on all my videos. So with all of that being said, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you guys had fun watching, I know I had fun making this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.